Hey, hi again all. Right, uh, this is a guide to the armoured zombies. I know there's many guides out there, but I just wanted to point it out and like, what I take. Right, so I've got a dragon full helm, but that is not really useful over there because I don't need a defence bonus because I'll be using protect from melee. Um, so I've taken the knight's helm, I think it's the best one out there to use as a helm. Um, salve amulet, uh, that comes after a certain quest which I can't remember on top of my head. But then the enhanced version, you get it from the Tarn uh, Lair, which you can look at newbie guides on YouTube. So, yeah, anyone can do it, it's not too hard. Uh, I've taken the Rune Defender instead of my uh, Dragon Full Shield because it gives me attack bonus, I don't really need defense. Fire Cape, yeah. Uh, Abyssal Whip, well, I'm training uh, defense, so um, that's what I'm going to go for. If you're training attack, you should do that as well. But if you're training a strength, a God Sword would be better. Uh, I've taken Bandos chest play and a Bandos tacit. You can take Pros if you want um, to save on prayer, but I rather just hit hard. And I've got a free Alta right there. Uh, Bandos gloves, D boots, and my Zerka ring. In my inventory, I have got uh, full Guthans. Uh, slightly degrading now, but uh, hey, <laughs> my enhanced Excalibur, legendary weapon, of course. Uh, my DBA to spec up. Um, for my strength, as you can see, I'm sort of specced up. I will spec up soon, and a games necklace to get there. So at the moment, I'm under Vol Volcanus. Um, I'm at the Volcanus crater, um, which was, oh, v wilderness volcano, which was previously a uh, bounty hunter. Uh, what I do is after uh, I finish over there, which is, it's just there. Uh, after you've just finished, I teleport over there, bank, and then go back. Um, so yeah, the the quick way I do it is, I mean, it might take a charge. You could choose it just by running from here. I go to Clan Wars. Um, I'm gonna spec up with my DBA. And so yeah, I'm gonna start running south, southwest, through the th trees, and you'll see some lava soon. There it is, and you just want to go in. Now my quick prayers are melee and protect from item. Protect from item is because in case I die or something, you know, I get to keep an extra bit. So, you know, it's a bit gay because my my actually protect from item thing is doesn't give me my bandos chest plate, but then if I do this, I've got it there so I lose less money. Uh yeah. So here's a free altar, you know, you can recharge as much as you want. Now, you want to go down this trapdoor and then put protect from melee on. Now, most guys over here are melee. Uh, as you can see, he's melee. But there's some occasional, like, assholes, like that guy, that armored zombie there, is using range. So when he's doing that, instead of taking any damage, you want to put ra uh, protect from missiles on, to protect from range, obviously. And, um, yeah, and once you've, like, run out of prayer or anything, you just go upstairs. So, say, for example, I've run out of prayer. You go upstairs, you pray over here, and you back, you go back down. You can do that endless amount of times. Um... And now uh, you see there's a protect from range. I want to protect from range because he's using um, range. Um, and then after a period of time, after being like 15 minutes, I'd say 20 minutes, maybe even half an hour, I'm not really quite sure on the exact timing. But after you've been here, kill. these guys will start, you know, will not auto retaliate you anymore. So what you want to do is go north, up here, go here, and then go back. And then they will start auto retaliating you, uh, auto retaliating you again, um, as you can see. But um, yeah, that only happens after 20 minutes. That was just an example, just to show you guys how it is. Now, for me, I DBA until that gets to 90 for my strength, and then I just enhance Excalibur for the triple kill. Might as well. Um, and then I've got the Guthans. You don't have to have Guthans. You know, you can have a Bunyip if you're um, 68 summoning, which I am not. Um, you can stay there, you know, there might be some people, no, I don't, they don't have bunyips. But yeah, you could do that. But the most cost efficient way, if you've got Guthans, is just to use that. Or, for the hell of it, you could just use the Enhanced Excalibur. If you, you know, if you've got that, you know. It's an ownage weapon and you should damn well have it. <laughs> um, but yeah, you could just do that. Um, and I don't need any food, I don't need any teleports, because it is relatively safe. And I'm pretty sure if I die, one of these dudes will probably save me. Or I'll probably get back in time. Uh, you know, just you teleport clan wars, run over here, get your stuff. Um, yeah, you'll probably make it in under three minutes if you haven't paid up, or five minutes for me if you know Kill the, uh, a normal a normal grave that I've paid for 50k. Anyway, 
I hope that helps. That was a very short video, uh, just to help you out. I am 89 defense at the moment, growing strong. Um, got 80 attack not long ago. Uh, strength goes up on its own. I have no idea why. It just like feels like going up and just goes up. I don't know why. It's probably the specs that I do. And um, yeah, so I'm doing pr pretty well. Kill oh, yeah, and on the final note, on drops wise, now these guys do drop like loads of noted planks. They drop charms. They drop nature runes, cosmic runes, blood runes, chaos runes. They're all the worst picking up. Uh, mithril Parker. arrows, if you really want, you can pick them up. I don't suggest them. Uh, coins, you can pick them up, but I don't suggest them again. Uh, see, there's teak planks there. So, yeah. Um, Drops-wise, you want to get the noted stuff. The things we can, which can stack, basically. Also, the Addy Kite Shields are also good. Um, this is a great place to train for your melee. Um, but not only that, the uh, the drops, you know, as I just showed you, uh, that's yeah, it's not worth a lot, but after you've been here for a whole round, so when this fills up, I gather about 140k of profit, pure profit, and you can sell it in minimum for GE, so say 130k for example. Now that's not bad, seeing as I'm getting like the fastest EXP in the game for, um, uh, for melee, uh, and that's the best way to train up, so... Um, yeah, you know, if you feel like training melee, gathering a little bit of cash as well, you know, it's not bad. Uh, and, you know, free altar, you see, like it's running low, I can just go recharge, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't care if someone steals my kill or whatever, you know, it's just in there, back out, and there you go. Bob's your uncle. So yeah, anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, thank you for watching, please do rate and comment, and whatever. Siege to you, out. Thanks.